Welcome everyone to use guided access. Let's start by opening up the settings. And from here, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see accessibility. In accessibility, I want you to scroll down again and keep on scrolling until you see here, guided access. Tap on guided access and then tap on the toggle to turn on the guided access. Make sure you also turn on accessibility shortcut and let's also set a passcode. So we're going to go into passcode settings and we're going to set a guided access passcode. Set this one to a different one that you use to unlock your phone, but make sure you remember it. And so once the passcode is set, if you want, you can have Face ID on or Touch ID. I'm going to leave that one off. Now, to make sure that guided access will activate smoothly, head out of the guided access settings so you were brought back to accessibility. Then, next to guided access, it should say accessibility shortcut. Tap on accessibility shortcut, and where guided access is, drag where these three lines are, drag and drop the guided access to the top. Guided access does not work in the settings app or the home screen, but it will work in any other app. So open the app where you want to use guided access on, and then if you do not have a home button, triple click the side button here. If you have a home button, triple click the home button. So click, 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 and now guided access is on. Under options, we can control what is allowed or not. So if the tick is green, that means the feature is allowed, such as motion, keyboard, touch. If you want to disable a feature, tap the toggle to disable. Turning off touch entirely is great if you're trying to transcribe something, you're trying to use your uh, iPhone as a tracing tool, turn off touch. If you turn on touch, remember guided access won't let someone leave the app. So leave touch on and then no one can go to the home page. They can just stay in the app they're in. If you want to block certain parts of the touch screen, draw with your hands or finger. And then this drawing is part of the touch screen, which is blocked. You can resize it or you can tap the minus to delete. And once we're ready, we're going to tap on start. And now guided access is started. So we can't go home. We can't leave this app. And this is great. Let's say you give your phone to your child to watch YouTube. You know, they're not going to be able to leave the YouTube app and, you know, play around with your phone. Uh, you can also see here, they're not going to be able to play around. They're just going to be in the app. They can tap in the app, but they cannot leave. However, if you need to leave guided access, you want to exit it, then do the same key combination as you used to enter. So triple click, and then it will ask for your passcode. Sometimes the passcode bugs out and it just won't let you enter it, or the triple click won't work. So for me, I can enter in my passcode, guided access, and then I'll tap on end. But it's very useful to know what happens if guided access glitches out, if it glitches out, you need to force a restart. To force a restart, it's something you'll need to do with me. So you will need to get your iPhone and we do the following key combination. So we'd click release volume up, then click release volume down. And then we'd click and hold the power button or the side button until we see the Apple logo. So let's do this together. If you need to do this, you know, just get your phone ready. One two, three, click release volume up, click release volume down, click on all the power button, keep this one held down and do not release from the touch screen. If the phone does not turn off in a couple of seconds, then just go rewind the video, try the key combination again. If your iPhone has a home button, you may need to press and hold either power and home or power and volume down until you see the Apple logo. When you see the Apple logo, 
you do not need to touch any buttons and patiently wait for your iPhone to go back to the lock screen. If you are watching this video because someone set a guided access passcode on your iPhone, then what you want to do if you're back on the home screen is just make sure you head back into settings and go back into assistive access and just turn off the assistive access if it is on. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.